How you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Latitude 3490 model in front of us. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade their RAM memory on this one. So if you want to install the second of them, it will be a really nice option. You will get the dual channel effect which is much faster than a single DIMM. Uh, first thing first, you want to power it off and turn off the computer completely. No hibernation, no suspension. Just power it off completely. And the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they provide one of the best tool set out there. It's an aluminum handle and they provide an S2 class steel, which means they are really tough bits and they will last you a very, very long time. We're going to be using a Philips number zero from this tool set. Also, you will need an opening tool. The, the same tool set, I fix it, they provide you with a kit that they will give you opening tools and some pliers. Or you can just grab yourself an opening tool like a guitar pick. The guitar picks are really soft edges and tough to bend and they are perfectly suitable for opening uh, electronics or cases. All right, first thing first, we're gonna loosen up all the screws at the bottom cover of the laptop. These screws will not come out. They have a little C-lock on the other side. It is there to prevent the screws from falling down. So you, what you need to do is just rotate it until you see you feel that it's loosened up, and then just leave it like that. You wanna do this to all of the screws, the one in the middle too. Also, I noticed that only 1% of my viewers are subscribing. It would be really nice if you guys like and subscribe to on my videos, if you find them helpful and helps you guys out. As I take requests, I answer all the questions that you guys leave in the comment area. So it would be a really nice return if you guys could su support me by just clicking likes and subscribing. I really appreciate it. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws, what you need to do is to grab the guitar pick and open up the laptop a little bit. You want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just right on this line that you can see on the top side. You stick it about two or three millimeters inward. And what you want to do, you just want to twist it, just do 45 angle twist, and you're going to see the top separating on from the bottom cover do this all around to the side and on the front only you don't need to do the back and do the left side the side that there's a vga connector you don't want to touch it too much because you can't uh, release this plastic over you just want to come up to here somewhere once you see that it's separating a little bit like that just close it back down. On this end where the HDMI cable and the power jack is, you want to lift up from this side and put your finger right here so you can push it up, pop it open from this end and bring it over and just slide it towards the VGA side so you can release this gap right here. So this is the bottom chassis. And down here, the RAM is right noticeable right in front of you guys there's one dim ram installed and there's one dim free ram available right here these are ddr4 rams now before you change the ram people is going to say disconnect the battery you do not need to power up disconnect the battery but if you want to just pull this jack backward and the battery will get disconnected but to replace the rams or hard drives or anything you don't need to remove the battery as it's totally fine to do so all right, to remove the ramps, it's really simple. For the removing the ramp, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers apart, just like this one, just move them apart from each other. So, and the ram is gonna pop up in 45 degree angle. Just move it, and there is it. So you can see the ram, it came out in 45 degree angle. In the same angle, you just wanna grab it from the side and pull it out in the same angle. So, this one is an 8 gig, so this is a DDR4-2400, 
you can put at DDR4 2600, whatever you want, and the bias is just gonna average it down and it's gonna work on the 2400 megahertz. So this is a DDR4 8 gig. So you can grab another 16 gig or another 8 gig DDR4. And it's simply the way that you want to install it, make sure the notch right here matches the notch right on the RAM dim. If you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. Don't worry about if the sticker is on that side or if yours it doesn't have a RAM chips on this side. Doesn't matter how it's designed. As long as the cut has to match the cut on the dim. So grab it in 45 degree angle, just slide it down all the way in, in 45 degree angle. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard so you can hear these two triggers. Just like that. Once you hear the triggers and the RAM is in place. If you don't hear the triggers and the trigger doesn't go straight, that means the RAM is not installed properly. Okay? And the same thing if you want to put another one here, put it in 45 degree angle and just push it down. You can put up to another 16 gig in here. So you can have 16 plus 8 or you can remove this one and install a 16 gig and another 16 gig here. So you can have 32 gig of the RAM. All right, once you have the RAMs installed easily, uh, remember one more trick. Once me, I get in the comment area that people say, oh, once I put the new RAM in, uh, I power on and I don't see any screen or doesn't boot up or anything like that. Then what you want to do first, you want to remove the old RAM dim and plug in the new RAM dim first and then power it on. Make sure you get uh, boot up and then power it down and then install the second old dim beside it. So you just might have to switch around, play around until the BIOS detects it. Sometimes the BIOS gets really tricky, it doesn't detect at the first. So Take your, be patient, it might take up to five to 10 seconds for the BIOS to detect. All right, and next thing is to plug in back again to your battery if you unplugged it. Grab the bottom cover, bring down the VGA side down and make sure you put the VGA side down in 45 degree angle. So make sure it is right in there. And then bring it over, just align it and press it on top a little bit. You don't have to push it down too much. The screw is going to do the job, so just start screwing it down and the screw is going to pull back the cover. And at the end, if you see any gap between the top and the bottom cover, you just want to grab it and pinch them together and it's just going to pop back in. Okay, let's see if there's any opening. Uh, truly right here there's a little opening right here so I'm gonna grab these two and just push it together and it's gonna pop back again the back end too when you open it you're gonna see a little opening here just push it down and that's it and that's how you upgrade your RAM on your Dell Latitude 3490 I hope you guys like this video if you liked it click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.